Hello there, Adam Bazaljet here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today we're looking how to master the 40 yard pitch shot. For me, that's a less than mid pitch shot. Maybe for you, it's about 30 yards, but that sort of a shot. Gonna give you the big key to consistency, at least as I see it. We'll look at the swing itself, especially one drill that I think will help you get the feel. And we'll look at two aspects of your equipment, one you probably haven't considered that I know would make a big difference. Well, briefly, if you're new to this channel, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. It helps us build momentum, bring you more free content. Also at the App Store, Scratch Golf Academy app. Lots of tools, training aids. Think you'd really like it. Hope you'll pick that up. Well, not a bad shot there. Okay, first thing, the most important thing, bring that shot in fairly low. Now the reason for that, it, first off, it shows good impact fundamentals, but picture it this way. If you had a golf ball in your hand, say a, a bucket was 15 yards over there, if I had to land it in the bucket, would I want to toss it miles up in the air and hit a huge floater, or would I have more feel? I bet I would, tossing it mid-height. So you'll have more distance control if you don't balloon the ball up into the air. Key is though, it's got to be low with spin. And at the end, when we talk about equipment, one surprising fact there, as I say, I think will really, if you take it into consideration, it'll help your spin ratio. Now, first thing to say, don't try to hit it low. There's two ways not to try to hit it low. And the first one, let's look at from this angle, and that is hitting down on the ball too much. If you start to get your plane steep and chopping down this way, this is always more of a descending hit than it is if it comes from the side of your body more. You will not be consistent. You'll stick the club in the ground. It'll be hard to control your trajectory. Your contact will not be consistent. So stay on plane. The idea you want is you want a pretty long level spot at the bottom of your golf swing feel like it's about a foot where the club's level to the ground. So the second way I would not recommend trying to hit the ball lower, and that is playing the ball excessively back. Round numbers, it's the same reason. If you play it back and you make a good swing, certainly you would hit it lower if you make solid contact. Too much shaft lean, the club will start to dig the front edge of the club stick in the ground. It's not good for spinning the ball, and you can easily get some stubs or some chunk shots. So play it maybe slightly back of middle if you don't have a lot of shaft lean, but relatively in the middle. Let's have a look here. And again, long level spot, see if you can drive a nice little low shot out there. I was almost able to pick that just off the turf, just a small divot. Let's have a look at a Tour Pro in action briefly, cover a couple of the fundamentals, then we'll get out and look at our drill. There's Rory McIlroy about to come into impact on his pitch and also on the, on the right there. The driver will see significant contrast in the way the release is as you might expect. So middle tight ball position as we just talked about key here again he flows with his lower body and his hands are well beyond the ball before he hits it but look at the club right there itself the club head it's pretty level to the ground going through he's just got the handle forward and the loft tilted off ideal stuff there and as you look at the follow-through contrast, by the way, there's a link below this video for a free three-part video series on short game secrets from me. I hope it's free to you. Hope you'll pick it up. Go check that link out after the video. As we look at his release, you'll see an emphasis on good body turn and not a lot of excessive wrist release. Again, he's trying to control the shot. Whereas with the driver, it's not that his body doesn't turn, but it's much more of a lash of the right arm and hand. And if we stop him, let's go about that point, right arm, pretty close to horizontal to the ground. You can see there's more resistance in the body here and more turn there. Okay, let's look at our drill. So recommended drill, practice a few shots from some very light spongy grass where the ball's just sitting up on top of it. If you don't have that, maybe you're on the range, just tee the ball up, but tee it low, maybe like you'd use say a hybrid on a par three. And here's the game. We are going to see just for the working on the technique, if I can pick it off there, barely brush the ground, or in the case of the tee, barely brush it, and how low can I hit it? You have to play around with things to get good at them. Just a quick word to the wise. I've been teaching golf full-time for over 30 years. People get so unempowered in golf that it's, it's really surprising. I mean, for instance, you'll say to someone, hey, you've got to get the club face to close more at impact. Well, how would I do that? Well, I don't know, can you turn your hand? Certainly, they just, the, the default setting of most people is that's too difficult for me, I won't be able to do it. So here's an example. If you took a little towel, if I put that towel there, and I said to you, okay, keeping your head relatively still, could you go along the ground and hit that towel? 
I bet 100% of people would give it a try without thinking about it. Don't let, don't get disempowered. You can drive the handle past the ball. You want to tilt the loft off it. Practice that with your lead hand a little bit. Get that feel. And as I say, just play around. Pick it off there and see how low you can hit it. Hit that about 35, 40 yards, nice and low. Again, you can see I sort of stuck a good firm finish where the club's not bouncing off my body. That's a sign I'm controlling the impact. Play around with stuff. Don't put yourself down and pretend to somehow get yourself in a state where you're not able to try stuff. You can try stuff. Let's have a look then finally at the equipment. So two thoughts for equipment. Number one, if you don't have a reasonably high performance spin ball, some sort of pro ball, you are not going to spin the ball the way the pros do. So take that for what it's worth, but you need a ball that grips the club a little bit. The second thing, and this is the thing most people don't realize, under normal conditions, let's say there isn't any moisture on the ball, there isn't any uh, grass around it, you don't really need the groove so much on these small shots. The ball grips the club face. So here's the key. You need a clean club face. Even if it looks fairly clean, I'm telling you, take a white towel and give it a little rub. You'll see debris, some little grass stains, some mud on there, some dirt on there at least. Here's what happens. When you hit down on the ball, and you should hit slightly down on the ball, even though we're not trying to take a big divot, the shaft's leaning forward. If there's a good grip between the club and the ball, clean club face, the ball spins more, but also the slight descending blow of the club makes it go lower. When there's debris on the club or moisture or just dirt and stuff like that, the ball doesn't grip the club face, it slides up the club face fractionally, comes off higher and doesn't spin as much. So do yourself a favor, get yourself a good tour ball, get yourself a good ball that grips the club and clean that club face and make sure it's dry before you try an important shot. Thanks for watching, I hope this is helpful.